I was just relaying to Kim um, one aspect of this project that uh, he thought it would be good to share with the group, and that was that um, this water course you see be below us here, uh, about a year ago, didn't look quite like that. It looked nearly, not nearly so green. It was, uh, had just been cut. It was highly erodible soil, and um, it was decided once the rains began that uh, this pond wasn't going to be ready in time, and there was land development activity occurring up above, which uh, was sending water this way, and that uh, there was a good probability that if we left this all winter long, we would have had a big problem with fisheries because of the silt and, and the uh, sediment making its way into this creek. There were also um, a number of locals uh, well attuned to this project and very much watching and with their uh, speed dial set to fisheries. And so uh, what we decided to do was uh, go to the landowner and ask him whether we could divert the water temporarily into the woods up above this pond site. And uh, they were thankfully agreeable to this. And so um, what ended up happening was, was this hillside, this forested hillside, acted as an enormous filtration device and incredibly effective such that the silty water coming down from the construction above, by the, by the time it made its way into the creek, had naturally cleaned itself. And uh, we avoided all the difficulties associated with what at the time was a temporary pond having been constructed at the bottom of the hill, but really fearful that that temporary pond likely wouldn't have functioned as well as we would have hoped. This much better solution, much simpler solution. What was the buzzword? Um, less is more, right? Natural filtration, really effective. And free fertilization. Mm -hmm. Silts and sands going down into the forest, which normally wouldn't have got. So I just want to mention it, didn't you? Right.